tell you something about my Italian origin. Well, unfortunately, I'm Italian American because I was born here in the USA. Uh, my grandparents were born in Sicily. Um, what I do in the WWE is definitely a, a, a gimmick um, that I'm Italian. I'm actually from Howard Beach, Queens. So uh, for everybody, I hate to disappoint out there, but I am from the USA. My grandparents are from Italy. My passion for wrestling, how was it grown? I was a wrestling fan since I was nine years old. Uh, my parents used to take me to Madison Square Garden every other month, because every, every month it was on MSG. Every other month it wasn't on MSG, so we'd have to go live. Uh, so I was a huge wrestling fan. I watched it uh, every Saturday morning and Saturday night. That Saturday morning at 11 o'clock in the morning. Saturday night used to come on at midnight. I used to have to, have to sneak up because my parents would never let me stay up late. And I used to watch the likes of Bob Backlund, Killer Kong, uh, Sergeant Slaughter, the Samoans. Uh, so I was a lifelong fan. And it was a dream of me, dream of mine to uh, get into the wrestling business. And uh, I succeeded at that. Where did I start to wrestle? My career started up in Parsippany, New Jersey. Uh, that was the professional wrestling school that I went to. Uh, it was run by Gino Caruso and uh, Mike Masters and also the Kodiak Bear and Jerry Fazio. And uh, that's where I started training. So um, after I went to school there, I started doing a lot of local matches up in the Parsippany area and matches at the school. And uh, progressed from there and um, just moved on out of the Parsippany area. My best memories of my career, I mean, I mean, there's just so, so many between ECW and WWE. And I'll tell you, some of my best memories were when I first got into business before I was ever on TV uh, with the Kodiak Bear and Gino Caruso. Uh, but as far as the memories uh, in ECW, it was my first opportunity to get on TV and to actually get the feel of how to work the cameras and, and actually get my first time getting exposure in the TV world where I would actually go out to the ring and people would know who I am before my, as soon as my music hits. Um, and in WWE, it was a little more the same. Uh, some of my favorite there had to be wrestling in Madison Square Garden. Uh, definitely a highlight of my career. It was very exciting winning the Cruiserweight Championship in uh, Italy. Uh, I had a lot of fan support. Um, uh, I remember when I first started going to Italy, uh, the fans were really reacting to me very well, and I think the office heard the, heard the fan reaction, and they give the people what they want. And uh, and the next time I went over there, I wrestled Juventud Guerrero, and I beat him for the championship, and it, it was definitely a great, great experience for me. Uh, I've been to Italy numerous times, and um, I couldn't think of a better place to win the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, yes, I'm in contact with pretty much all the members of the FBI. I just spoke to uh, Vito not too long ago. And uh, as we film this, this is WrestleMania weekend. So uh, this Sunday uh, at uh, the Meadowlands, Meadowlands, Mark the Meadowlands, um, I will be with uh, Chuck Palumbo and Johnny Stamboli, the WWE version of uh, the FBI. Uh, I still tag with Tracy Smothers, and uh, I just saw Tracy Smothers and Tommy Rich not too long ago in another convention we did up with Mick Foley. It was another wrestling convention. And uh, Tony Mameluk, uh, unfortunately, he has a bad back. He's not in the wrestling business anymore, but uh, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, he lives in the New York area as well. So uh, pretty much I talk to all their members. So how do I feel about somebody else basically trying to fill my shoes as an, uh, a full-blooded Italian? Uh, in this business, the, uh, the business uh, evolves and just keeps moving on and, and you have to move on. So uh, I pretty much have moved on. I'm sure there'll be another Italian guy running around, maybe not doing the FBI gimmick, but doing the Italian gimmick. Um, Santino, he's another one that did the Italian gimmick around the same time as me. So uh, I have no problem with somebody else uh, filling my shoes. Hopefully somebody can, you know, it, it's a credit to me, especially if they come out and do some of my mannerisms. And, you know, time goes on. They can't be just one full-blooded Italian. I'm sure there'll be many more. Before me, there was Salvatore Balomo. Uh, before that, you had Antonio Rocco, you know. So, you know, there's, there's any, any character, or what, especially if you do a stereotype type of character, somebody else is gonna uh, come in and steal your gimmick. Do I think I'll ever come back to Italy? Well, after WWE, I have made two independent appearances in Italy. Uh, I got nothing, uh, nothing booked right now to go back to Italy, but would, would I say no, I never will? I don't know. 
You know, that, 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 that ball's not in my court. That's up to uh, other promoters that are willing to bring me in and, and want to pay me. That's what it's all about. It's all about business. So, uh, you know, I can't answer that. May I be back? Maybe. Maybe not. What was my greatest moment in the WWE? I, I've had a lot of great moments. You know, I won the Cruiserweight Championship two times. Uh, I wrestled The Undertaker. I wrestled Brock Lesnar, Kurt Angle. Uh, but I would say the greatest moment would be wrestling on that big stage, as everybody says. You know, I got an opportunity to wrestle in WrestleMania 20, which is like going to the Super Bowl and participating in it. Uh, I was part of a lot of WrestleManias, um, but not always on the show. But WrestleMania 20, I wrestled in a match in a uh, Cruiserweight Invitational, and I got a chance to wrestle at Madison Square Garden, which I've done many, many of times. But that has to be a highlight of my career because when I was a kid, my father and mother brought me to WrestleMania 1 at Madison Square Garden. So whoever know, would have known, 20 years later, I would be wrestling at Madison Square Garden with my parents there watching. Goldberg with the spear. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. Uh, if you Google 10 more spears of uh, Goldberg, I think, I believe I'm number two. And uh, yeah, that hurt like a motherfucker. I gotta be honest, I did not know it was coming. Uh, I just basically turned around and he speared me out of my boots. Grazie to my favorite wrestling fans. And thank you very much to Wrestling Nostalgia.